Hello everyone, Stick here from Maplewood Studio, or Paul, whatever you want to call me is fine by me, but keep it clean please. Uh, today we have another look at a Squire bass, but this time it's the vintage modified jazz bass, 70s edition. So let's check this bad boy out. Cha-ting! Okay, so carrying on from the last bass video that I shot, which was the Squire Vintage Modified P bass with the PJ configuration uh, of pickups. If you haven't seen that one, click around here somewhere and you'll be taken to that. Give it a like if you like it. Finish watching this one, give it a like. Watch them both, they're both good because I made them. That's a bit, a bit arrogant, isn't it? I'll take that back. They're both rubbish. This is carrying on from that series and this is the uh, Vintage Modified Jazz. Now. The first thing you'll see is the block inlays and the black binding on the neck, which I really like, and that is a big nod to the 70s era of the jazz bass. Visually, it's probably my favourite out of all the eras, apart from the very, very early classic stack knob, um, you know, the the holy grail of jazz bass. Uh, but visually, I really like the look of this. It's a great bass. <laughs> body material, we're looking at the uh, soft maple body again. So, like the other bass I reviewed, this is uh, not quite as light, but it's not heavy either. It's a nice medium weight bass. Um, it's finished in the, well this one's finished in candy apple red. It's candy apple red, but you can't eat it. There's a uh, vintage white available and a natural, and they're all with the polyurethane lacquer, which is pretty much a standard finish now. Um, great body finish, no blemishes, you know, nothing no flaws or anything that I can see. What you'd expect really now of a Fender Stroke Squire factory. Uh, maple neck with the maple board, skunk stripe on the back. Obviously truss rod adjustment is up at the end there, the little bullet hole. Wow. The neck is a slim C profile, uh, very nice in the hand, and you've got your traditional kind of um, jazz nut width up the top here which is the 38.1 mil so a little bit narrower than your p bass and um some of your music man white kind of stuff uh makes it a little bit tighter around here if you've got bigger fingers you know but you soon get used to it it's nothing massive difference and it's not going to go you're not going to go that's not the bass for me bridge is just your standard um Jazz bridge, as you can see down here, nothing fancy. It's not not one of the high mass ones or anything like that. Uh, but you've got all your adjustability you need in there, individual saddles, all that kind of stuff for your intonation and action. So, does the job fine. Um, electronics wise, just two standard pickups. They don't really say much about those. Um, as you can hear in the sound clips, they sound fine. Um, you've got front volume, rear volume, or neck volume, bridge volume, and a master tone jack socket. So you need to know really, it plays great, it sounds great, it's super affordable. Um, as I mentioned in the P bass video, which if you haven't seen, click here, maybe somewhere, uh, after this video or click the link below, check out that one as well. Um, give them both a like. Uh, the, yeah, as I first said in the other video, the only negative I've really found these uh, more affordable bases is sometimes, this one hasn't had, the, I haven't come across it, but the pickup covers can have little sharp edges. So just something to bear in mind, and I'd probably say if you did find one with a little sharp edge, just get a little bit of sandpaper, just to smooth it off. Um, it's not the be on end all, and at this price point, there are gonna be the odd little compromise and, and that kind of thing. But like I say, haven't had any problems with this one. Made in Indonesia, excellent finish. Brilliant build, construction, all that kind of stuff. I'll do the usual, uh, neck, bridge, full tone, no tone, all that stuff, and uh, try and give you a sort of, you know, an idea of what this bass sounds like. Try to do a bit of pick playing for you guys as well, um, as I get the odd request for that. Not that I'm any good at any playing really, but um, yeah, hopefully you'll get some tonal ideas of what this bass can offer. <laughs> Thank you. 
nice. There you go, that was the Squire Vintage Modified Jazz Bass. I think you'll agree tonally what's on offer from this bass is just everything you expect out of a jazz really. And of course being a Squire it's super affordable. This comes in at sub 250 pounds. This one's kindly on loan to me from Anderson's Music Store in Guildford. Click the link below. Uh, check out their amazing online store. And if you're in the area, definitely go and check out their store because it's awesome. Obviously, don't quote me on the prices because they do fluctuate from time to time. But I don't think, really, you're going to get a better jazz bass for sub £250. So um, if you're out there looking for one, definitely check them out. So, yeah. Stick approves. Give this video a like if you uh, enjoyed it and leave your comments below as well uh, of other bases you'd like me to check out if I can, and I'll uh, see if I can get my hands on them for you guys. Uh, it takes a while for it all to get in place and whatever, but you know, I'll do my best. So um, yeah, hope you found this video useful and informative and uh, catch you later. Stick out, bye.